opening a Casper bubble bath from 1995. I don't know if you can read this. There we go, 1995, Amblin. Worried that some of the ingredients might have altered their chemical compounds or had a reaction over time. As you can see, the plastic on Casper has yellowed on one half. Kind of a cool bottle. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see how this looks. Kind of an interesting cap. You take that off and you can see, like, the brush strokes from where they painted the, the plastic on here. So, we'll see what's next here. We've got a, uh, take that off. There's still the safety seal on it. Ooh, I just heard it's like a gas escape when we opened it here. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, uh, it smells kind of like Mr. Bubble, uh, if I remember that smell from childhood. It definitely smells like the old school, like, kid's bubble bath. It says that the, uh, the bottle was made in China, but the bubble bath was made in the USA. California 609, that probably means that it's going to cause some kind of cancer. And as you can see, it is some thick stuff. It is like motor honey, for those uh, in the automotive world that know what that's like. And this bottle is too rigid to squeeze it out, so I'm just going to have to wait and let gravity do its thing. Yeah, slowly coming out. Looks kind of a clear yellow. Okay, uh, as you can see, it seems to be unaffected by time. So, 24 years later, your bubble bath is still good, especially if it is Casper brand. Good movie. Favorite from childhood. All right, peace out.